Hey, what is going on guys? So you have the Apple Watch, doesn't matter if it's a series one, two, three, four, or five, and you are experiencing the black screen of death. I'm gonna give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now, and at least 80% of you guys should be up and running by the end of this video, okay? Now take note, both of these are actually fixed here, but we're gonna go ahead and pretend that I have a black screen on both of these, okay? So the first way, the first possible fix is to do this, okay? Uh, let's just pretend my screen is black here. And first thing I want you to do is do this, okay? I want you to press and hold two buttons, the digital crown and the side button here. I want you to press and hold both of these buttons. Ready? One, two, three. Press and hold. Do not let go until we see the Apple logo appear. I'm still holding on both of the buttons. I'm not going to let go until I see that Apple logo appear. Still waiting. Okay, Apple logo. Now I can go ahead and let go of both of these buttons and you should be up and running now. If not... We're going to go to the next step here, okay? So the next thing to do is this. Go ahead and grab your charger. I mean, it doesn't matter. What you basically have to do is just go ahead and um, go ahead and start charging your Apple Watch. So you can go ahead and leave it in here, or you can just go ahead and pop it on here. I'm, for me, it's just easier just to leave it in here, in the cradle here. So I'm going to pop in the cradle. And then what I'm going to do is grab my Apple Watch. Again, let's just pretend that this uh, screen here is black. I'm going to pop it on here, and I'm going to go ahead and let this charge for about five minutes, okay? So after five minutes, come back, okay? While it's plugged in or while it's still charging, do the same thing, okay? Digital crown, side button. Press and hold both buttons. Ready? One, two, three. Press and hold both buttons. Continue to hold. Do not let go until, until we see that Apple logo appear. Still waiting. I'm still holding on to both buttons. There's the Apple logo. Now I'm going to go ahead and let go. And now you should be up and running. Now, if you're still down, next thing I want you to do is this. I want you to go ahead and... Grab your Apple Watch, and what I want you to do is I want you to press, just press all over the screen, and give it a little bit of force, okay? Press it a little bit like this. Also, on the back, okay? Press the back a little bit. Got to give it a little bit of pressure. And now I want you to do this. I want you to tap all over the Apple Watch, okay? Tap all over the screen on the sides, also on the back too, okay? Might be easier if you just take off the, uh, the band here, but anyways, the back, tap the back, nice hard taps, then go ahead and grab it, and I want you to do the same thing, okay? Digital crown, side button, press and hold both buttons, do not let go again until you see that Apple logo appear, so I'm still holding on, Waiting for the Apple logo to appear. Okay, there it is. Now I can go ahead and let go. Now, the thing is, if you're still down, if you still have a black screen, then what I, what I want you to do is I want you to do every step in here at least four or five more times. And like I said, by the end of this video, at least 80% of you guys should be back up and running. Any questions? Comment below. Thanks for watching.